Okay. Out of my wrist, count of this spinning. Man at the coop, mine with no tennis. Chop out the top, hit it in the limit. I got some cake. What up, y'all? Trey be different. In the building. You know what time it is. So, <laughs> the, the last video was titled very correctly. Let's just say that. How not to change your main and rod bearings. It, I knew it wasn't going to last long term, but <clears throat> it didn't last a week. <laughs> um, but anyway, stay tuned. I'm going to get it right into it. So long story short, I'm not going to drag the story out, but essentially did the rod main bearings, took it to a, pre a local prelude meet um, yesterday. It drove fine. It did have one little hiccup that kind of made me be like, hmm? Today, I actually decided to try to go on like more of a long distance drive to test it. Sure enough, halfway to my destination, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> what happened has happened. Basically, I, I, I had oil pressure, so I'm assuming at that moment where things uh, basically felt like they were going wrong, I want to just go ahead and say that the, the bearings, I spun another bearing or something like that. So, um, am I surprised? No. And I am a little disappointed it didn't last a little bit longer, but I'll say this. I did have um, a tune date set for September 9th. Currently, I probably have about a week and a half before that date. Um, originally, the plan was to upgrade my fuel lines and my fuel pump and basically turn it up. So if I had to pick a perfect time for it to happen, it literally could not be any more perfect than this moment right now. Um, so am I a little disappointed? Yes. But if I had to pick a time for the motor to go, this would have been the perfect time for it to happen. So with that being said, um, a few of you who did watch the full video know, uh, my last video, know that I had this fully built uh, long block pretty much ready to drop in. Only thing I got to do is obviously swap over the trans, the clutch, um, intake manifold, and just literally swap everything over to this motor. But this one is essentially ready to drop in. So yeah, since that one's ready to drop in, um, I've gotten very efficient at taking this motor out. It probably wouldn't take me longer than about an hour to get this motor out. So um, I'm not gonna make it a tutorial. I will time lapse it though, so you guys can see what's going on. But uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Hey! 
about that. It took me about hour 15 minutes, something like that. Maybe hour and a half. Uh, I, didn't, I wasn't paying uh, really close attention to the time that I started. Didn't take me long, and I, I like literally took my time too. Um, so yeah, not that bad. And as you can see, it's real naked up in this joint. Real naked. I haven't seen the bay naked in in a while. Part of me would like wants to like gloss over the whole bay to uh, tighten it up, but I ain't about that life. Not right now. But yeah. literally been sitting here like an hour trying to figure out if I want to try to start it or not <laughs> I mean it's got to happen at some point I was trying to decide whether I wanted to do it now or tomorrow but I'm just gonna go ahead and start it up um, hopefully I went during that hour I went around and just trying to make sure and double check that I got everything literally the only thing I got to do is put the battery back on uh, or put the negative terminal back on the battery. Um, I'm gonna turn the motor over with no fuel just to get the oil primed through the system. And then I'm gonna prime the fuel system a few times. And then I'm just gonna kind of more or less go for it. So yeah, wish me luck. Hit it in the limit. I got some 